Success! Ah, and look at the older Easy Store here. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. It seems that I have finally secured 1,000 subscribers, which is wonderful. I'm happy to have 1,000 subscribers. Now, it bounced back and forth between 999 and 1,000 for a little while, but it seems to have settled on 1,000. So, what can I do? Well, I know that a lot of you are here for political content, and I don't really like making political content that much, but it's probably not going to go away. Today, for the 1,000 subscriber special, I have decided to shuck some hard drives, because for some reason, Data Hoarder is full of people saying, get Western Digital Easy Stores and shuck them for cheap storage, but no one's actually telling you how. So, because of a hard drive failure in one of my servers, I went out and bought these. That's right. We have two 8 terabyte Western Digital Easy Stores from Best Buy. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I believe these are $130. Um, and they contain just a regular three terabyte or eight terabyte hard drive. So, let's get these opened and let's rip them apart and look at them because it's fun. Now, I may also repurpose the enclosures. You can put any drive in the enclosures and it'll still work. So, for now, One drive. For now, we're just going to yank the drives from the enclosures since they are destined to live in a server. Two drive. All right. This is the Metal Pry Tool channel, the place where you come if you, for some reason, want to complain about me prying things with a metal pry tool. If you look over this enclosure, you will notice there are no screws anywhere. So what do you do to get your brand new Western Digital Easy Store open and shuck the drive for the win? Well, you take a pry tool that's probably not plastic. You get it in this seam. Any part of this seam you can get it in. Oh, look at that. There's a nice gap right there. And basically, you just have to get it to pop loose. Now, here's the thing. There are clips that hold it in the back, but they're not poppy clips. They're just the sort of clips where you have like a fin, and then you have a U that just shoop, slides into it like that. So the back clips are not what you have to get rid of. You have to pop these top and bottom clips to get these godforsaken easy stores to come apart. So all you have to do to get these Western Digital Easy stores shucked is shove a pry tool into the front, and in this case in the bottom, and pry forward. Oh, what about this? What is this? It's the top front. Get a pry tool in there and pry forward. Yeah, my pry tool is getting a little bent messing with it, but that's it. Just pry it forward. Well, this is going wonderfully, isn't it? been so long and it's so obvious that it just slides but for some reason this one is extra stubborn I'm going to go into uh, territory I don't usually go to here and I'm gonna shove this screwdriver in instead of a pry tool something with harder metal and sure enough when I switch to hard metal look at that one clip broke out of all of it there you go Western digital 8 terabyte now, you'll notice it's uh, got semi-screwless design here. Um, let me just show you real quick, though, how this goes together. So, it, it just sort of falls in from this side. And you'll notice, if you look in here, there are these rails. The whole thing just kind of glides on these rails on both sides. And then in the back, these things bite it in the back so if you pry from the front 
it pops them loose. Here, watch this. So you can slide the drive up. Slide the drive up, the board comes out with it. Now, you are going to need to take a screwdriver and remove the circuit board, thus. Also notice you have this light here, this light here, let me zoom in. Notice that you have this light that kind of works its way into the hard drive screw slot there, and pull. There you go. Okay. So we'll set that gently aside, gently. And then this, do you think for one second you can use your Phillips head on this? No, because the scumbags have decided to put the drive in with something else. And what is that something else? Looks like it might be a Torx. Is that a Torx? We'll find out shortly. T10 Torx. We have a T10 Torx. Say that T10 times fast. T10 Torx. T10 Torx. T10 Torx. Shut up. Alright. So, one thing that you have to be very careful about with these, uh, with these pesky Western Digital Easy Store shucks is they do not have the drive mount holes on the bottom in the same place as a standard drive. So let me show you really quickly. Let me get one. This is a standard hard drive. It's an old Western Digital 2 terabyte green. Notice it's an EARX, not an EADS, which are the bad, bad ones. This green's probably okay. All right. The side holes for these drives. In fact, if you look very carefully at the side holes for these drives, you'll see that the drives have the same mounts on the sides. But wait, what about the bottoms? Well, look at where the mount holes are. And I'll try to hold these up as best as I can. But one of the things you'll notice is that neither of these easy store hard drive mount holes actually made up where they're supposed to. So you cannot bottom mount these drives unless you get really clever or cheap. Yeah. So that's one drive shucked. Um, usually what I like to do is drop everything else back in the enclosure and throw it back together. Um, it's kind of dicey though. So let's just put the enclosure part of the way together here. Come on. All right. Not, as, not that much of a part back together. Put it part of the way back together. Throw in the light. Throw in the circuit board. And remember, this circuit board, along with the power cord and the USB cable, they can actually all be used on other things in the future. Uh, all the screws, the board screw to put it together. If I ever need to get back in there, I can always pry it back open. That's one down. Let's put him back in his box. I don't, I don't really think that he looks very comfortable outside of his box. Easy store number one, shucked. So that's the end of that. Now, with our newfound brilliant knowledge, what can we do? So we have another easy store here, and now that we know what to do, we can just take this nice hard screwdriver and we'll stick it in this seam right here. Get one to pop, get the other to pop on the other side, and then this screwdriver should basically just be able to pry the thing open at this point. Get it in, pry, be done. Yep. 
yeah, nice big long screwdriver. Get the other side to pop, and we can pry from there. Get this pry tool in this side, come on, there you go. And once that's done, you should be able just to pry it. Actually, pretty darn sticky right here on this side. So, what you should take away from this is that no matter how many times you do one of these, it's a giant pain in the ass every time. And nobody's gonna have fun and you're gonna hate it and you just kind of have to get over it because you can't do anything about it those stinking u-clips are right down here somewhere what can we do to get them to let go let go let go let go Let's let go come out. Yeah, such is the nature of these stinking drives. They really hate coming out, but with some perseverance, you can eventually get them to let go. It is, it is not easy or simple or fun or any of that. They really rather just not. Run it down there. There you go. I hate doing this. Absolutely hate doing this. But there you go. Got another easy store. And there we go. In a way, the raw footage is sort of my documentation as well. So let's get this out. Liberate this drive from its plastic shackles here. Yeah, the screw came out on that one. All right. And again, same process. One Phillips head here. And the little light thing here. One Phillips head here. Dink. Circuit board. Followed by four T10 Torxes with rubber around them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All good to go there. Okie dokie. Now, here's the thing. Um, I actually have a third one that I need to shuck that is not brand new. It's one of my old backup drives, but it's going to get promoted to not a backup drive. So, let's reassemble this one and get the junk stuffed back in it. Oh, you can feel that, that terrible terrible building quality there uh, put all the junk back in oh I heard that come back out all right there you go and we'll put him back in the box too now you may notice this one looks a little different it's because this is an older Western Digital Easy store I've had this one for a year or two now, and uh, it's just different. One of the immediate things I'm noticing is that it's different in that that was a lot easier to do. So we can actually find out if they have changed these easy stores, because this is an 8. It's the same model from the same Best Buy store, but if they have made changes that make it harder to get into than this, compared to the others that we just did, will be cake. All right, here we go. Come on. Now, it popped at the back a little easier, I think. Maybe that's just me getting used to the crap factor, though. Yeah, it's still holding in the back. You can actually see where it's kind of tense there. There's a, there's a bit of a curvature thing going on where it's stuck on a clip. If I stick this in here, oh, did you hear it? Release. Uh, what 
what about the other side? Can we get that to release? Yes, we can. All right. So, yes. It seems like the older easy stores are a little bit easier to get into. They don't hold quite as tightly, and they're less likely to get damaged. Now, my older easy store here, you can see that it's an EMAZ, and that one's an EZAZ. I don't know the difference, and I don't care. As long as that's not a shingled magnetic recording drive, I do not care. Um, once again, you'll notice the same construction. It's uh, just... Just got to pivot everything up a bit. And there's a light going to the screw hole. There's a board that has one Phillips screw holding the circuit board in. Dink, dink, all done. And the uh, T10s, I bet. Yeah, same T10s. Look, same T10s. So they're largely the same, except this has an an earlier model I guess and it was easier to get into I have shucked quite a few of these eights ah that's funny another one uh, this one says 8.0 and this one just says 8 that is kind of funny alright the usual deal again put this back together And I'm going to keep these enclosures because I have some drives that I'd like to start throwing into them, I think, um, for external use only. Uh, put all the junk back in this trunk and close her up carefully. Yeah, somewhat carefully. The light thing fell through. Crud. It's always something, man. It's always something. I don't want to damage that light thing. I mean, if I do end up reusing these garbage enclosures and not just the circuit boards, I'm going to want that little light relay stick to not be smashed. So, yeah. Alright. There we go. Alright. Success! Ah, and look at the older Easy Store here. Same deal. Screws are not in the correct location. Alright. So we just shot three Western Digital 8 terabyte Easy Stores with a T10 Torx, some prying screwdrivers, and one number one, but you could use a number two Phillips screwdriver. Now it's time to put them in a server, uh, but that may be a video for a different day. Uh, yep. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.